Hello everyone and this is part two where of finding a freelance project as a web developer in Japan and this web developer here is a front-end web developer if you saw my last video I talked about the server-side developer and how I would go at finding projects and what kind of projects I would choose or how much you can make from them and all the things in between and in that video we looked at four different websites where we will find projects this video too we'll be doing the same we'll be going through Levtech find the freelance or Levtech freelance find the freelance wantedly and indeed and we're going to find this front-end developer his first freelance project as discussed in the previous video the reason why your server side engineer is having a great time with Golang uh, even PHP looks great he's having a great time while uh, remember his name is Dave and in this one we have a front-end developer three years front-end came at the worst time where he has to learn all this mumbo jumbo just to be a front-end engineer and not be uh, shamed by the community for not using Tailwind. So this front-end developer, we have to assign a name. Zuma, this is Zuma Duma. He's in Japan, so cigarettes are really cheap. His name's going to be Doug. No, that's, an, that's, not, a, that's not a Zuma name. Brian. I'm not sure what a Zuma name is, but we're just going to call this guy Brian. Brian, he did a great job in front-end already. Three years front-end developer. Of course, he had to learn TypeScript, React, next. He had to learn how to use Figma. Not exactly how to use it, but his company told him, can you just learn it? They also said, uh, if you don't know Tailwind, you're trash. You have to learn Tailwind. That's what all the cool guys use. So you've got to use Zod too. We saw that, like some companies using uh, Atomic Design, while Dave here is just enjoying Golang and making rest apis okay it's tim but we'll call him timmy let's go timmy let's find that project and of course both guys uh, in these cases have jlpt n2 let's go to one of my favorite platforms in japan wantedly let's find a freelance nextjs project for timbo for old timmy boy we'll always go to the newest there's 359 freelance nextjs jobs projects companies that employ or work with freelancers. So right off, the first project here is they're looking for a React Next engineer for a booking site. But let's check, and I like it. We see the team straight away. We see the team, they look nice, a bunch of nice lads. Shibuyaku, under 20 developers, or 20 workers, sorry. So four years ago, they started up. Look, you can uh, just have a talk to them. See what's happening. See if you you can help them out. But this is one company you can have a talk to. They accept freelance, and they're in Tokyo. Seem like a great bunch of... Uh, bunch of dudes let's have a look at another company so just look at the image and you can uh, guess yourself okay one quick thing once you see GovTech I like that why because it's safe it's a safe bet that they will pay you because these GovTech's great you're gonna get paid because they charge the government an arm and a leg and because it's taxpayers money they just uh, you know we'll go two projects for each website and have a look nice office it looks like WeWork or something. We can't check because I'm not logged in. Yeah, it's WeWork. I thought it was WeWork. 33 workers. It's in. It's near Ikebukuro. Not my favorite place to go to, but look, hopefully you can be full remote. You're going to talk to them and tell them, I'm mostly full remote. You never know. You'll see. It happened to me sometimes. It happened to me a few times, I mean, where I told them I'm full remote. And on the first month, they go, can you just come once a week for the first month? And after that, you're full remote. And I said, yeah, that can be done. To gain trust so we just talk to this company uh give them a message and that's two freelance projects for GovTech. uh one for GovTech and one for a booking website there's still quite a few more and sometimes it's the same company uh just be careful with these guys who use like some pretty image and stuff it's just come on mate what do you why you just it looks ai is that actually a worker if it's actually a worker then i get it but if you just use pretty face just to catch an engine just to catch a, a soy dev okay i'm not i'm not saying be careful but i'm saying if it's sogo geisha i'm not too sure when it and there's only two members you just got to be careful you don't want to be diddled right 
as a foreign engineer, you know, you don't want to be diddled, got to pay your rent on time, all these things like that. You just want to be careful. And if your Japanese is not the greatest, you find yourself in a sticky situation. But remember, Wantedly is a lot of small companies as well. So just don't, uh, that's the other side of it is a lot of small startups as well. But it doesn't mean they can't pay you well. Remember that. It doesn't mean they can't pay you well. They could be well invested. They could have a, a project where they can charge quite a lot. So just keep that in mind. Anyway, we've got two. Let's go to Findy Freelance. And I uh, already searched Next.js, uh, the most recent. Well, Next.js is front end, so front end will be coming up. The majority, most of these will be front end. Wait, what is this? This is not, this is all we're looking for. React and TypeScript. React and, remember, even you put in Next, some random projects will come up. Okay, four to five days a week. Yeah, I want to do four because I want three day weekends every week for the rest of my life. Front end engineer, TypeScript. I think Ichibu remote means mostly remote. So I suppose you might have to go into the office now and then. But it's, um, if it's a nice office, hey, it's not bad. And the location's nice, Omote Sando. So you can have a walk around, uh, is it Cat Street? I forgot what it's called, pool area. No weekend, no work on the weekends and no work late nights during the week. And they're looking for React and TypeScript. Great, Timbo, that's what he does, React and TypeScript. And look at the fee that you can uh, see, Yonju, Yonju Yomun, Haseyen, to Hachiju, Hachiju Hachimun. Let's say you get, this, I'm guessing this is for four days and this is for the full five days with the 5,500 per hour. Maybe if you're only three years in, they might only get, you can only get 3,500. But this will come down to how well you can negotiate. So it's a car, car maker web service, web application for flights and a credit card. Okay, so I'm guessing this is not just one project they're doing. They have a few other projects which you might be able to help them with, okay? So now I'm gonna apply for this and just have a talk to them and see how much see what I can help them with. Most cases, no, there's no React engineers. <laughs> Not no, no, but there's, as a front-end engineer in Tokyo, it's hard to find front-end devs who actually have experience with React or Next or even Vue. A lot of server-side engineers, a lot of PHP engineers, Java engineers, whole bunch of Java. Let's have, let's have a look. I want way more. I want to make, look, there's already so many two or four days per week projects and they pay quite decent up to Hyaku, uh, up to Hyaku Ju Nima, 7,000 per yen per hour, 7,000 yen per hour. Okay. I think I get it here. They want you to also be good at Ruby on Rails. There's probably some framework. And that's probably the type of person who could make this much is that they want a full stack engineer possible possible i'm looking for a, a next js here here we go next js it doesn't pay so well but i just want to look i really want to get my hands dirty with the app router sawing to the max grifting to the max glazing to the max of next js for remote i want to work four days and have my three day weekend every week for the rest of my life okay so they're going to change change the future of the road okay cool that's yeah that's all. Oh, yeah oh, yeah i want to change the road I'm going to change the world, the future. I'm, I'm changing it by writing Next.js code. Four days a week, yeah. Okay, you go. You go. Four days a week. Go zoom on. Take it or leave it. Shake it on that. Shake on that. That's how you do it. It's that simple, guys. It's full remote. Full remote. I'm going to Vietnam for two months. I'm going to. Okay, cool. Shake on it. Go zoom on a month. Very good done deal it's that simple guys if an idiot like me can do it i don't know where i'm going with this find e we've got two we'll apply to these two see what happens two from wonderly two from Findy. let's check out live tech live tech or oh, they hit me with the hyakuman the hyakuman per month project remember it's tilde so up to hyakuman it doesn't mean they're going to give you hyakuman Maybe you're only worth Nanajuman a month. That now you've got to negotiate that. So you're gonna say, Oh, I saw you said Shokuman. How much do you think I'll be worth with my always always ask them how much they think first. Never okay, this I've made this mistake before. Don't give your number first. You give your number first, you lose. Because if you give your number first, they will go under. 
not always, not always. But you've got to learn this. You've got to learn a bit of business. Okay, so you're going to make as much as you can. Let's have a look. TypeScript, Next.js, a coupon system. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Okay, F freelance, yep, that's me. Roppongi in Tokyo, cool. Go party, go party after work. Run an engineer. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, unit test code. Yeah, yeah, I do that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Let's have a check more. HTML CSS, yeah, yeah, React next year, yeah, next year, get yes, no JS. I've got it. Don't worry. Prisma. Okay, look. And then you've got 140 hours to 180 hours. And then the day they pay you is the 15th of every month. So 15th of every month is payday. 140 to 180 hours is basically your full time. So as long as you work in between that, you're you're good you're fine you can take a day off you can call in sick and all that because you're not getting paid when you take a day off or you're sick remember that for freelance so you know what i really like this i'm gonna apply i'm gonna apply for this and maybe hopefully i get at least none of you a month let's check on the simu simulation this is great this is great about our lev tech is they show you how much you would have to pay for taxes i'm using lev tech right now and it's pretty good i'll be honest it's pretty good they bump you they try and bump how much you can make per month they look after you well everything's online through their web application so I'm, i log in and i check i put my hours i worked you know i can check the contracts i have everything's online it's so good so you check your all your taxes short talk is your your uh, income tax is it income tax yes short talk is it income tax jumin say your city city hall tax nankin is your uh, pension kukmin hokan is your health insurance so uh, if you get paid hyakuman you'll get back every month nanaju nanaju niman kyusayan around but don't take this exactly because everyone has their own case you know things that things can be different for each person and they also this is based on if you make this much every month for 12 months anyway it's good to just good to see good to see now i'm applying for this let's have a look great let's get one more also the good thing about freelancing is you can choose the type of products because you have guys who are really good at react or next but let's say you're really good at react and next and you love fintech startups or fintech SaaS or fintech or whatever you merge those you, you you combine those together and you're worth more so let's say you're a okay next.js developer and you're you know you know so much about fintech you put those together you're worth you're off more value to that company than just a good next.js developer who doesn't really care about fintech he just wants to make money or you know freelancing so that's one thing to keep in mind is you want to you might want to stick to an industry that you really are interested in about look at this okay i just saw this and i saw seven thousand six hundred ninety yen an hour in ebiso let's go let's get that one let's make that uh let's make that dough let's make that yen that's declining D declining yen it's for some foreign project for for, for foreign so maybe they like foreigners to be working on this i don't know Sometimes it, it is front end and server react the next. So I'm guessing they want you. Okay, so three years plus three years plus. Hey, three years. He's been doing this for three years. He knows what he's doing. Timbo it includes AI. So that's something good. Good for your CV. You worked on a project that used AI. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. You see that React Native. Once I see React Native, I'm out. But anyway, if you're gonna pay me this much per hour, but you, now the tricky part is you don't know how many hours per week they want you to work here we go the lowest is three days per week we don't know if this is full-time freelance work oh, let's be safe let's just say seven thousand seven thousand let's say you work three days a week the minimum here says three but we don't know but also remember three doesn't exactly mean three days it could also mean three times eight hours and split that any way you want throughout the week and just get the task done which in this case, you'll do this, you do another project and do this at the same time to freelance max. So times your, I'm so bad at math. Look at me, I'm doing this. So you'll be making 16,000 yen, 
per week times that by four, you'll be making, if you rip three days a week on a 7,000 yen an hour, 67,000 That's a good way to live life. You only work three days a week. The rest of the week, you fiddle or you diddle. I don't know. You do what you, the rest of the week, you do what you want. Or work another project and make the same amount. I like this. I want to have a talk to them, see what's going on. And that's the great thing about freelance is that while you're freelancing this project, you're still looking at other projects. You're constantly, so you're also constantly having interviews. And you get used to it after a few times. You just, you get used to feeling stupid as well because they might throw a real hard question at you. They might throw a leap code test at you and you just learn as you go. And if you're uh, working in a company, you're kind of scared of your, you do two years working in a company or should I uh, interview this? And you kind of feel a bit scared of it because you're not used to, you're not desensitized to interviews and meeting new people. And when you're freelancing, you're just constantly trying to find a project. You just constantly, it's, it's like business development. This is business development for freelance. Just going through all these websites, looking for a project, applying, talking to the guy who's in charge and trying to get that contract. Uh, I'm going to look at one more I'm going to look at, and it's going to be similar to my last video. If you saw my last video about freelancing for server engineer, it's going to be very similar where this, we're going to see similar numbers. Look, 2,000 yen, to, this is what I said, 2,000 yen to 8,000 yen per hour for freelance. So it really depends on your skill and your ability. Okay, and it's fully remote. Next JS TypeScript, blah, blah, blah. Okay, all the same stuff. Seven minutes from Tamachi. I'm a bit confused here. So we're going to see, I'm pretty sure this is an agency. So an agency will have a project which they are hunting. And then that agency will be the middleman between you and that company and a company. Sorajima. Okay, is this? No, this is, this is the actual company. They make these kind of uh, weave like products. Just just have it, just give it a go, give it a try. 5,000 yen an hour, two or three days per week is fine. Even once, one day a week is fine, okay. Too, too many projects here. To be honest, you just go through all of them and just keep applying. Just apply, apply like crazy. Even if you have a project now, talk to them, find out. Let them know that you're currently working and that, you know, from August, you're free. Have a drink of some of them. That's, that's business development as a freelance. Maybe you want to go to do Vue for a few years because you're tired of React. None of you, someone, bro. You don't need to, a lot. You, that's great in Tokyo. You can do so much. You can have so much fun. And this is, I'm guessing, also a agency. Let's have a look. Crowdworks is an agency. I think I've seen it before. What is it? Yeah something about talent and stuff. It's an agency, which is still fine. Nothing wrong for agencies. If I were uh, Timbo, let's say today's a Saturday, I would have applied to two on each website. Then I'll do that every Saturday until I find a project. Okay, so that's part two of uh, finding a project, a freelance project for a an engineer, a front-end engineer in Japan. I hope you enjoyed this content. It's all over the place, like most of my videos. But I hope you can learn a trick or two. Or I think if you have an opinion, just let me know. If you think I'm I'm trash, say that. You know, all all criticism is good. And if you're interested in freelancing, yeah, like, subscribe. The, this I have a Discord and me on LinkedIn. I don't post on all I do on LinkedIn is to connect with people and post my YouTube videos. I don't get into the current thing. Probably doing a live stream more. But uh, yeah, I think enough said freelancing in japan if you have jlpt into and you have decent skills or not even even half decent skills you can find a great project for you and be free and enjoy your life in japan and i think that's the ultimate goal here is to help engineers in japan become freelancers and enjoy freedom Sounds strange. Finding freedom in Japan is a bit strange, but uh, the place you're least likely find freedom yet, it might be more free than back at home. Okay, 
I think that's me for the for the night, for the day. Till next time. Take care.